Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Game Loop Emulator on your PC, how to download and how to get Call of Duty Mobile or any other mobile game supported by Game Loop Emulator on your PC, which includes PUBG Mobile, um, Call of Duty Mobile, a lot of other games are supported by Game Loop. So now let's start for me and I'll also be showing you guys the controls, the controls that I use and everything. But let me show you guys how to get the Game Loop itself. So you just have to go to your browser anyone you use at all so click on your browser and now search for game loop search for game loop then just click enter now the first website you see should be game loop official website which is www.gameloop.com so i'll just click on that now you see bring up this page all you need to do is look, don't download from this um these ones you see on under here like the screen and all so just find the one on top you see your top right corner you should see a download icon there just click download i use idm so you start downloading if you use your normal browser um download that like you should download in your browser just check your downloads but all i know is something will start downloading so yes i downloaded that already the file is not big it's about 3 mb so let's go to the folder which is one so now here's the um so here's the file we just downloaded now what you need to do next is double click that double click that and now run through run through this process you just have to run through this process Start is pretty much easy Start just install and now once it's done installing i already have it installed on my pc so i'm not going to try to install it again uh, so it will download it will download another file which is the main game loop itself it will start downloading now so when it's done downloading uh let me stop installing when it's done downloading you should get a shortcut on your desktop now uh, let me click this this is my own shortcut so you click on it and you should get this app market right here you should open game loop app market now what you need to do next is look for the game you want you just have to search it here now let me search call of duty And here's Call of Duty Mobile. I already have it installed. So yours should show um install just like this. So let me try to click install on this one. Or let me search for PUBG since I know it's a similar type of game. So let me go to PUBG now. Now once you click, sorry, let me search for it. Now once you search for PUBG, just click install here. Now I know yours most of you guys will be downloading Call of Duty Mobile with it. So you can track your download from this download box um upper right corner. You see one download icon there. Just click on that, you see your progress. So I'm not trying to download this, so I'll just cancel. Now when it's done downloading, um when it gets to 100 percent it will take a little bit of time before it process. So just let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Uh then it will start showing installing. Now when it's done installing. It will take you to, like it will take you straight into the game. It's just open the game. So I advise once it, once it opens the game, I would advise you quit the other um app manager it opens, which is if you launch it like this. And let's wait a bit so so mine will launch. So guys, don't forget to um, leave a comment, um follow my account if you are watching from TikTok, and leave a so and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are watching on YouTube. So it should be opening something like this after the installation is done. Now, so I advise you, you close that. You close that first. Close that one. So you come back to this little one here, this app market. Now, upper right corner, you see this menu icon up there. Click that. Now, go to settings. And let me push you guys through the settings. Because you, uh, most of you guys are having issues with your game loop. And it's just because of the settings. Now, so... The basic settings, you do it like this, just exactly how mine is. So this is what you need to do. Uh, the language is, is a thing of choice, um, region, thing of choice, and all. So, but if you're in Nigeria, your country and district should be UK and uh, language English. So now you head to your engine, the engine section. Now you want to use OpenGL or DirectX. So you just have to test it out. This is something you have to test because of your PC. If your, if your um. If your GPU is stronger than your CPU, 
you can use OpenGL. If both is stronger, I would advise you to use OpenGL too. But then if your CPU is stronger than your GPU, I would have, I'd advise you to use DirectX. Or you can use Auto if you like. So I just know what I want. That's why I'm using OpenGL. But I advise you to use OpenGL if you have a good PC. Now, next thing you need to do. Next thing you need to do is go to is um enable all this enable rendering cache, um uh, first global rendering cache prioritize the discrete graphics card, enable rendering optimizations. You have to enable all this. Then vertical sync no don't enable that. I won't advise you do that. And all these there's no need to enable this. Anti aliasing um I advise you leave this off because it just takes um power from your pc and there's no much impact in the game it's call of duty mobile it's a mobile game we shouldn't want that much stuff on it now click at the, mo the memory section go to the highest possible uh, mine is 8 gig now processor you have to pick the highest possible too so that's 8 gig um so my resolution you guys can pick from here your monitor resolution i'm using this because you know i know about the apps already so that's why i'm using this and uh, this is like what I think is good for my monitor and my eyes. So you just have to pick your monitor resolution from here. Your DPI get the highest possible too. Um, if you if you think it's drawing down your power, you can take 400. If you have a mid range PC, take 400, but nothing below 400, please. Then your audio device is is a thing you have to choose by yourself. You know which audio device you are using and all. Now, your model leave this leave this how it is. Leave this how it is. Um, now you go to the game settings. If you have the game loop, the Call of Duty installed already, now I'll put you through what you have to do here. Go to the game section here. It's show Call of Duty Mobile. If you have other games in storage, so also show them. But then head to your Call of Duty Mobile or any game you want to do the settings for. So now, if you have a mid-range PC, I advise you use. They, they indicated it there HD 1080p suitable for higher configurations such as GTA 1660. Not even 1660, just 660 and higher graphics. So if you have something ab about that range, but I won't even advise to use a graphics card like that. And if you use a 1660, like they say, it can support 2K, I would advise to use 1080p if you use a 1660 or 1060 or 20 series. Also, I would advise to use 1080p for 20 series too. Only if you have 30 series above, which is 3060, 3050, and all that, you, sh you can use the FHD 2K. And that's if, if you have a 2K monitor. Now, once you pick one of these, then go to your graphics quality. Uh, if you are using a mid-range PC, I would advise you use balance. But if you have a good PC, um, you can use HD. Now, all you have to do is save the account. You don't have to do anything here in account. So, just save that. And once it's saved, you have to launch the game again. Try to launch the game again. So, I'll put you guys through the controls I'm using and how you can edit the controls to your taste. So let me try to open the game loop again. Don't forget to like the video, please, and leave a comment. Let me know how it goes for you. If it doesn't work, you let me know in the comment section, please. So our game is open now. Our game is open now. So if, let me drag this to the side, sorry. I need to show you guys what to press. Now, if you want to do the button configuration, you just have to come to this, um, there's this keys here, up here. You see your top right corner, you see this um, key, key mapping. Just go through this stuff, you see one that says key mapping. Now, when you click key mapping, when you click key mapping, you want to choose which mode you want to edit the keys, multiplayer, battle royale, and uh, spectator mode. This OB is spectator mode so multiplayer battle royale so i'm picking battle royale this time i mostly play battle royale now the key mapping is on the screen this is the key mapping you guys are seeing on the screen right now so now if let me let me restart default you get this at default this is what you get from default now what i'm using i switch my um, f key for alt and um, control for i switch a lot of keys around sharp so now let me just edit that right now. So my alt button, you just have to assign another key entirely to the alt then. So I can put my alt here and uh, my F button goes to my uh, lock and unlock the mouse instead of control. Then my control button goes to uh, what's it called? Free is it free camera, free camera or whatever. Now when you are done with your key mapping and everything. 
don't touch any other thing just touch a little bit of like what you want to use to slide jump and or just test it around then figure out what to do. all this um scroll and everything you don't need to touch anything there. so when once you are done you just have to click save and when you click save sorry when you click save you should be good um, so go to your um, settings, your in-game settings. Go to audio and graphics. I advise you use the use the maximum maximum frame rate possible. Maximum frame rate possible. I would advise you use medium graphics for a high-end PC. For low-end, I would advise you use. So once you are done with that, you can pick any one you want. Yeah, that's that's about it. That's all for the for the tutorial today. Uh, my sensitivity. I don't know if I can show you guys what the video is about. But here's my battery out. I use um, my mouse DPI is my thing. It might not work for this one. Maybe I might make a video. So, well, that's that for how to get all of this here on your PC. How to install game with them. And figure out the control. And the best control. Please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, let me know if it works for you and if it doesn't work for you, let me know. And please subscribe to my channel if you are watching on YouTube and if you are watching from TikTok, please follow my account. Bye guys, see you guys.